The lingering strike that has crippled activities in government-owned tertiary institutions in about three months. The Federal Minister of Education has apologized to the non-academic staff of the universities over neglect of its demands over the past months. At a conciliatory meeting, the Minister of Labor and Employment has closed that a white paper on university needs assessment will be released on the 17th of May. Give us a news, Joke Adesa reports. The non-academic unions and the universities declared a two-week warning strike on the 27th of March. The industrial action was extended by one month as a result of the inability of the authorities to commence negotiations with the striking workers. Now, the industrial action has entered its second month, and the Minister of Labor and Employment, as the nation's chief conciliator, is brokering a truce. He attributes the strike to the absence of communication between the parent ministry and the university staff. Session panels have been done in all places. The White Paper Committee has finished. They have drawn their reports. And by May 17th, the White Paper will be released. The Federal Ministry of Education apologizes for the stalemate between it and the workers since the strike began and promises to turn a new leaf. Adamu Adamu Adamu, who had specifically asked me to come and plead for your forgiveness, that is as if your employer, Federal Minister of Education, has abandoned you. Issues contrived to make it look that way. That is not the picture. For the union leaders, beyond apology is the need to accede to all the demands of the unions in the interest of students, parents, and the nation's education sector. The apology is not a problem to us. Our problem is that the ministry should do exactly what is expected of them. Being denied by Ministry of uh, Education openly, I never knew that we have any labor issue or any industrial issue with them. You know, and uh, they are not our employer. So I'm happy that he's here to apologize today, and I hope this apology is not political. Among the demands of the unions are implementation of the renegotiated 2009 agreement, payment of end allowances, usurpation of non-academic career positions by vice chancellors, inclusion of university staff school into the university community, non-payment of minimum wage arrears, and funding for state universities. Jokhe TVC News. Abuja.